In this video, we will continue with trigonometric ratios of special angles. You will find this on page 170 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to 6 Cs. Let's look at another example. In the diagram, AB is 6 cm. AB. Angle CAB, angle CAB is 45 and angle ADC, ADC is 60. Find the exact length of BC, BC, AC, AC and AD. Okay, let's start. So, first BC, but this is, if this is 45, then this one will also be 45 because that's 90 and angles must add up to 180. So that means it's an isosceles triangle. Okay, so therefore BC will just be also 6. Okay. We go on, AC. Now, how do we find AC? Now, because you work with 90 degrees, you can basically work with, and I'm going to write it out here, you can work with so, a, to. And just remember to substitute this angles in every time, or this sides, because you're doing it without a calculator, and you want the exact length. So, in triangle ABC, so this is 45, so I... Remember my 45. So, cos, uh, I'm, I'm looking for, let me see, um, This is, say this is 45, I'm working. So, this is my opposite, this is my adjacent, and this is my hypotenuse. And, okay, now look what I have. I'm going, I want hypotenuse, so it can either work with cos or, or sin. Um, so, I worked with cos in this one, because I have this and this, both will work. So, cos of 45 is going to be this 6 over. Now, can you remember if the unknown was underneath, it will end up into a division. But you, you can see it by putting it over 1. And if you do that, can I just show you, you're going to get 6 equals AC cos 45. And then I divide cos 45, I divide cos 45. Okay, and that's why it's 6 divided cos 45. I just wrote it like this. Okay, so that's a division. And now, basically, it's 6, and now what is cos of uh, 45? It's 1 over square root 2. Okay, so I make it a multiplication. I turn this around, and that will be my exact answer. Uh, because it's division, better to work with the not rationalized value. Okay. Uh, or, or... I could have used, it's a triangle, so I could have, I have two sides, so I could have used also Pythagoras theorem. And I just kept it in terms of the search form. Now we go on, the last one, AD. AD, there's again 90, do you see that? You have that one now, and I'm going to clean everything so that you can now, okay, pull in everything again. So basically, you have that this one is now 6, square root 2. Okay. Okay. So if this is 6 square root 2, now this is now 30 degrees, but I can work from the 60. So I have this one, and if I must write in, I, I can work with this. I just want to see. Yes, I worked from there. So this is still my, this is my hypotenuse, this is my opposite, and this is my adjacent. So I'm going to work with opposite and hypotenuse, so I will work with sin 60. I could have worked with 30 also, doesn't matter. And again, it's like, and because the unknown is underneath, it ends in a division. But again, you can do it like that. Okay, and then what is sin 60? Now, let's look what is sin 60. Sin is opposite over hypotenuse, there. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to, and this is division, so I turn it around, I'm get, and now I rationalize, did you see? Because I got 6 times 2 is 12, square root 2 over square root 3, I rationalized, and that. The, I don't know if in this curriculum they will penalize you if you did not rationalize. But my purpose always is to prepare you for further studies in mathematics. And then rationalizing is, is part of simplifying. And that's why I go up to this level. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number 1. Again, you can continue the, the video as soon as you are finished. Let's stop. Number one. 
In the diagram, D is, uh, is a point on BC, okay? IC is 8, we have that. Angle ACD, ACD is 30 and angle is 45. So it's actually two triangles into each other. Okay, now find the exact length of AB. Let's just see where it comes. I'm going to. So let's first work in this triangle. Do you see? And I'm going to make it blue and I will write in blue. So if this is 30, I will just work with, with my this little little triangle with my when I come to the angles. But but let's start by saying, okay, I have this eight and I want A B. So this is my opposite, and this is then my hypotenuse. And if I think of Sokatua, I will use sin. So I'm going to say in triangle A B C sin of how many degrees? 30 degrees is equal to opposite AB over hypotenuse AC. Okay, fill in the value because you have that. Fill in the angle. Okay, we will do it now. Let's, let's just first, the, the unknown is on top, so it's a multiply. You can see that. If you cross multiply, you will get AB is equal to 8 multiply sin 30 degrees. So it's 8 multiplied. Now let's just go sin opposite over hypotenuse. So it's 8 multiplied a half, and that will give me 4 centimeters. I bring in the unit at the end. Okay, then I do the next one, number B. Okay, where is number B? Let's just go for another color, AD. Again, you have your, so, so I'm working in this triangle now. Don't forget that you have AB now, and that's 4. And I'm looking for AD now, so I'm looking for this one. So if I'm working from this angle, this is still opposite, this is adjacent, and this is hypotenuse. So I'm still working with sin. Can you see? So let's move it a little bit up. I'm going to say number B. In triangle ABD, ABD, okay, then it's going to be sin of 45 and sin is opposite over hypotenuse. Now, usually, if the hypotenuse is involved, it, it lands here. And then it's usually division because the unknown is at the bottom. But put it cross multiply and you will see. But you will get that AD equals its first the side, okay, and then divide by sin 45. And that's 4 divide. And now I go again to my 45. What is sin 45? So it's 1 over square root 2. And I'm going to move this. So it's going to be 4 multiply square root 2 over 1. And my final answer is going to be 4 square root 2 centimeters. Okay, let's look at number C. Now, I'm first going to work in this triangle, and I'm going to work out this line, BC. So I'm going to work in triangle A. It's always good that you just indicate where you work. So now, I, I'm adjacent. I'm looking for this adjacent. And... and what do I have? I have the hypotenuse because I have that 8. So I'm going to say cos of what degrees? 30. And I, that's going to be BC, which I'm looking for. And I have the hypotenuse, and that's 8. And if the unknown is on top, then usually it's a multiplication sum. So it's 8 multiply cos 30. And now I go into my special triangle. So cos 30, cos is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's going to be 8 multiply square root 3 over 2. Now put this over 1, then 8, so it's going to be 4 square root 3. Okay, but I know that if this is 4, what will this one also be? 
Cool. So if I'm looking, what do they ask for? Oh, find, uh, find the exact length of BC. BC. Okay. It seems to me that I wanted to write, because according to my book, uh, my teacher's guide, I see I wanted to make it CD. But if it's BC, I stop there. That's my final answer. But if I change it and I make it, uh, for example, uh, CD, then it would be that I take BC and I subtract BD. And then BC will be 4 square root 3 and I subtract the 4. And that will then be my final answer. But it seems to me I was asking BC, so this was not necessary. This can be subtracted in the teacher's guide in the first print.